What's up guys, welcome back to another energy drink review. Today we're going to be trying out Monster Espresso Hammer. So, this is expired, unfortunately. But it's not getting any less expired as I, I figured, so the sooner I review it the better. This is one of those ones where I wasn't intending on opening it, but I'm going to do it just because I don't really remember how did this taste, and I'm curious, and I thought it'd make a good review for you guys. Um, they still make this flavor in the U.S., um, but it's no longer available in Canada as of, I think, last year. So, luckily, I have a can, and I'm now going to be reviewing it for you guys. Here we go. I hope the expiry date doesn't affect the taste too much, but okay, so hmm. Actually I do <clears throat> just need one more taste. Hmm. It's a similar flavor to um, the Java Monster Mean Bean that we reviewed earlier. I'll put a link to that in the description. It ta the flavor is similar to that, and it's got a different texture. It does have that sort of foamy texture that they're advertising on this thing, as you can see here on the side. You got espresso plus milk, and then on top they say foam zone. So it's nitrogenated, just like the, um, just like the nitrous monsters. Which I'm guessing is why they also put this one in a 355 milliliter can, just like. But anyways, that was just a random comparison, um, an observation, I guess you could say. Um, I think I think the taste is a little bit more creamy than Mean Bean. It's it's very good. It's um, it's like. It's kind of a, a bit hard to explain. It's it's like mean bean. It's more creamy. It's got a slight. It's lighter tasting, sort of like if I was gonna drink. If I needed a drink that would refresh me, I think that I would probably take this over the mean bean, just because this is a little bit lighter and uh, a little bit less sweet and uh, thick tasting, sort of. So. So, bottom line, I guess, it's good. Nothing wrong with it at all. But my only complaint about this drink would be that it's too similar to Mean Bean. I think that, you know, what they should really be doing more is trying to make their all their flavors taste different. And that's what I notice sometimes with Monsters. They release a lot of flavors that taste similar to another one. It's just like, I don't know, some kind, sometimes I kind of wish they tasted more unique, especially all the Javas. Like, all the Javas sort of, at least um, Mean Bean and um, Kona Blend and Loco Mocha and, um, and the Vanilla Light, they all taste very similar to each other. I mean, obviously you can taste a difference, but it's not a major difference. So, hmm. You know, on second thought, this is almost more like a a Kona blend now that I got myself thinking about it. Yeah, this is so... Yeah, instead of Mean Bean, I think this actually tastes more like Kona blend. I got them mixed up. Um, but yeah, so... I don't know, I guess... I'm not crazy about it. Um, to be honest, the only Javas I really like are Toffee and Irish Blend. Um, uh, and the uh, Kona blend is alright. Or, um, but, I don't know, it's, this is really, generally speaking, it's not, not really my thing. So, I think I'm going to give this one a, oh boy, I don't even know, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10, I think, because it's, it's good, I mean, I, de like I said before, I take this over a Mean Bean, but it's really nothing special, so, so yeah, you know, see you later, guys.